So recently I was reintroduced to an old team, an old favorite of mine, right? Let me, let me pull it up here. It is da, 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 here, the Safari Zone, incredible. I, I don't remember when I made this team or where I made this team, but it's like, it's pretty solid, all things considered. This is um, a pre vulk band team, I know that. Um, so like, obviously like the meta's gone through a lot of like adaptations since then. But like the, the team is very fun. Um, who would have thought fucking Iron Valley and King Gambit Raging Bolt would be good, but I mean come on. It's got it's got three booster mons, so like three options to like break early game. Yeah, King Gambit, so like late game sweeps, Terra Dark too, which is fucking bonkers. And it has like Rillaboom, who's pretty um solid. It helps like shore up some of the like the ground weakness like no mon on this team resists ground except for Rillaboom. um but like gra uh, grassy surge like helps um kind of weaken the blow of earthquake it's a very very interesting team i like it a lot um so you got this guy what's he got he has a landorus Yitran. uh i don't know really i don't really know who he's gonna like lead off with i think like hmm. If he leaves off with gold or ogre pond, I'm kind of like good to just go into my raging bolt, right? Um, he has no like good removal, so I'm just gonna lead off with my spiker. Um, you should be scared out, I think. I'm just gonna give up a spike. Yep, scared out. Going to taunt this. Okay, ops just to go for earth power. Yeah, uh, just chip on this, good. Yeah, chip on this is really good actually. Opens up my uh, Iron Moth. Wow, that actually did nothing. Dicks tier damage. Alright, that's actually really, really good. Because, like, no mod on my team, like, really wants to hit into Heatran. Um, now, who to go into is kind of the hard question to answer. Uh, U-turn is the only move on my Rillaboom that doesn't kill. And I kind of want my terrain up. Although, do I? Do I really want to boost the Ogre Pond? I don't know. I don't know if I want to get Jode. Um, I think it's a little preemptive. I'm just gonna go into this and knock off. It's very simple. Like I, I lose nothing by going for knockoff. Basically. Basically. Okay, his helmet. So he's probably Earth Power if I had to guess. Um, hmm. I wanna go to my Raging Bolt. Like, there's no reason for him not to. Um, Earthquake here, but I feel like he, he might go for like Earth Power. So I'm just gonna go into Raging Jolt. Yep. Just opts to get up rocks. I'm gonna call mine. Hopefully, I'm faster. Hopefully. Okay, he has. Oh, shit. He has Earth Power. That is bad, actually. Okay, luckily we live. Um, At the very least, we can get off a, a Thunderclap versus one of his guys. He turns on 1%. Like, it, it's not the worst position to ever be in. Right. Uh, booster speed. Is it wor Is it bad if this thing sets up? Probably not, right? Like, I have Terra Dark, King Gambit, and I just kill him. I have priority, too. I'm gonna go for the uh, Thunderclap, get my chip, and die as a result. Okay, he he's, like, very little attack. So, as to who to go into, maybe Iron Val. Is Iron Val at base? No, Iron Val at base is slower. Um, maybe just King Gambit and Terra Dark and start blowing his house up. Go into this. <clears throat> uh, no speed Heatran. Let me let me calc that. Because I, I did substantially less than I should have with um, Ivy Cudgel, which makes me think that's not, like, it, it, there, there's no world. It's probably got, like, a good HP investment. Uh, am I faster? I am faster by a very noticeable margin. I can go for Iron Head, Terra Dark, so I can uh, not resist, but, like, you know, be neutral to the Earthquake. Goes into his Enamorous. Uh, depending on the spread, it might be a threat. However, um... Do I just want to opt to go into a uh, Rillaboom? I am just going to opt to go into Rillaboom. Um, I guess, like, the only problem is if he's, like, 
scarf, but that did a lot. Just another graphic life for my chip. Hope he's scarf and then go into my uh, iron moth and we can solve the problem from there. I actually don't want to keep this around. Like, is Ogre Pond ever, like, a threat? I don't think so, right? Like, I don't have anyone to, like, really, like, go into. I could go into Iron Moth, but, nah, it's fine. I'm just gonna go for the knockoff. Uh, yeah. I didn't want gold to, like, switch in. I guess it's, like, the same thing, right? Um, I do 2 a care of the Ogre Pond, that's nice. For Fiery Dance, what the? Oh my god. I'm gonna do zero into the uh, Why do you go this? I'm actually kind of worried. I don't know what he has, so I'm, I'm just gonna sub up. Okay, he just opposite Shadow Ball. Did you just lose? Did he just lose? Hey, yo, did he just lose? Cause like, I mean Sucker Punch like, hurts this a lot, right? Surely. Surely. Go into this and Moonblast. Oh, Moonblast is 70. How much does King Gambit Sucker Punch do? Oh, Sucker Punch does more than enough. That's nice. Um, so looking at Iron Val into Standard Ogre Pond. Is there like any Ogre Pond spread that can live? Probably not, right? Probably not. Um, it's probably is just good for me to go into my King Gambit. Just Sucker Punch, get the kill. Cause I am, I am Terra Dark. So I should just I should just kill the enamorous, right? This man should just be blown up. Twin Tower style. Goodbye. Alright, do 61. Oh fuck he scarf. No! 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 Wait, wait, I, I boost energy. I'm fine. I'm fine. Woo! Oh got a little a little scary in the end, but in the end we pulled through. I show him the true power of friendship, show him the true power of love. Gave him a little kiss on the cheek on the end. Alright, I've seen this team. This is a sample team, right? Hold up. I have the sample team, like, resource pulled up because I'm shit at the game. Alright, so it's it's sub Kiram with offensive Cinderace. Terra fighting Zapdos. I'm guessing just four King Gambit. So I gotta keep that in mind. You got uh, Tinkaton. This this thing is annoying. This thing is dumb. But it's no, um, no Thunder Wave is really nice. Um, look at the team. I don't see, like, any real way to stop, uh, Iron Moth from, like, snowballing. So I might just want to lead off with it. There's no hazard, uh, there is hazard, hazard control, right? Great Tusk, yep. Uh, is there Boots users? Like, how much is a Spike? Uh, I don't think a Spike is very worth it, but I think damage is always nice. Uh, it's probably a U-turn out into the, uh, Tingatot, if I had to guess. Um, do I just want to opt for a little bit of damage? I mean, Ogre Pond's pretty good in this game. All things considered. Uh, I'll just go for IP Cudgel. Get a little chip off into the, the Tinkaton. Now to taunt or... Hmm. I mean, he just knocks here, right? I don't think a spike is worth it. But if I taunt... Then he, he only has Knock and Gigaton, and I can go into like Iron Moth and start getting some work done. That that seems pretty pretty good. Although his uh, Roaring Moon does still have its Sash intact. Hmm. Alternatively, I could go into like Raging Bolt. Terra Water, kill the kill the Tusk. Um. Hmm. I'm just gonna get a Spike up. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fold. He goes for that, so he can't he can't access a steel type attack. Um, hmm, do I go, do I want to go into Iron Moth? I might go into Iron Moth and just just sub. How much is Tinkaton knockoff doing? Uh, not a lot, especially if I don't have an item. It doesn't even break the sub. That's actually nice. 
Uh, I don't know if I can get Encore through sub, so we'll find out. I have zero idea how how Encore mechanics work. Okay, goes for rocks. Nice simple play. And my kill. Not not, not a kill, but goes for Gigaton. Um, substitute. Sound based moves is is Encore sound such data. Encore bypasses sub. Incredible, incredible. All right, then he's gonna go into his Roaring Moon, right? Right, you just go into Moon, but you have to click uh, what? You, what you got? Earthquake. Hmm, is that a good entry point for anyone? Could go Rillaboom and just save the sack. His only move to kill is this um, Adamant. It's Jolly, with 288 attack. If I Terra, do I just... If I Terra, I just live. Is Cinderace Sucker Punch? It is Sucker Punch, but I could probably sub on the Sucker Punch, can I? Um, there's a world where I have enough HP. But I don't I don't kill guaranteed, so that's, like, bad. Yeah, I... If I killed guaranteed, I would have gone for it. But since I didn't, I just... I just decided no. Alright, I'm a U-turn on the Cinderace. Odd. Alright, good point for my Raging Bolt to come in. I'm just gonna go for the Calm Mind. Very simple, very easy play. Thunderclap just Oko's the Cinderace. Is that good for me? Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. I like to be more sturdy versus the Kirim. Draco has like the potential to kill Terra Water. What is Cinderace doing to me? With a uh, young shot, young shot is doing twenty nine to thirty four. Um, that's a that's a full offensive Cinderace. Goes to Zap Zapdos. Roost Thunder Wave Hurricane. Yeah, this is this is Calm Mind Central. I think I could have afforded a Calm Mind. Like, the damage wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Um, wasn't a Roaring Moon. Oh, uh, it does have Outrage. If I tear a Water, I, I do live. Um, do I live the subsequent Kiram hit as a Water type? I do not live Freeze Dry. So he's definitely going for Outrage here. Um, I might just go hard into Iron Valiant. Or like... Hmm. I'll kill a Thunderclap. I could go just go into Iron Valiant. I'm gonna go into Iron Val. You shouldn't go for Earthquake in any world, right? Yep. So that, I'm going to just Calm Mind. Goes into Zapdos. Um, would like to live the hurricane, so do I need to Terra? I do need to Terra. Um, Cinderace has Sucker Punch, but I should be in a good position. Oh, he might, um, might Thunder Wave. So I'm going to sub first. I'm going to sub initially. Okay, now I'm going to Terra Ghost and Moon Blast. Get a nice 69. Oh, I don't live with enough HP to make a sub. That's aggravating. Now I'm just roaring moon food. That was a that was a bad play. That was actually a terrible play. Oh, I, I completely forgot that moon was scarf for a minute. No, I forgot that um scarf moon is still faster than um I want to Rillaboom. Pro maybe live? This I can kill with U-turn. Yep. Do luckily live. <whistles> is Tusk fighting move? Tusk is headlong rush fighting move. I definitely lose now. Tusk just comes in and ruins my life. Uh, yeah. Tusk just wins. 
Maybe, maybe there's something that can be done? Maybe. Maybe, like, I live... Was it a cure him? Just, just to flex? Oh yeah, Terragun Earth Power definitely does it, right? There's no way. Yeah, just die. That's... That's unfortunate. But I think that was... The Scarf Moon was just a bad matchup because all of my mons are slower than Scarf Moon. And there isn't, like, guys that really... Maybe Terra Water, like, Terra Blast is bad. Like, I've, I've never terra into a water type, so... Let me actually change that. I don't actually quite know what Terra Blast is for. Why did I click on this? What the hell is this? Why do I have Chingling? Dragon is Meganium? Excuse me. What? Um, and then Terra Blast can be subbed out for like... Thunderbolt. There we go. Um, he's probably gonna lead off with his Torkoal if I had to guess, so I'm just gonna lead off with Bookerpon. Um, does not opt to lead off with the Walking Woke. I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel that for some damage. It'd be good for Sucker Punch later. In the late game. Actually, Ogrepon, um with the, the Cornerstone Mask actually seems like crazy. Okay, he's Scarf Walking Wake. Good to know. Do no types of damage. Um, there's a roll where I kill max HP Tusk. So I'm gonna go for it. I think, like, worst case, I miss and I lose my Ogre Pond. But best case, I get to remove the um, the Great Tusk and just open up King Gambit. Okay, go Terra's into a Steel type. That's actually, like, not the worst ever. Because I have, I have an Iron Moth. I just need to... Stop him from rapid spinning. I think the line is Rilla Moth. I think that's the line. So he can't ever get too many rapid spin boosts. Unless he spins twice. If he spins twice, then fuck. But if he doesn't... Is he even... He might be Earthquake on this. Okay, ops to Ice Spinner. Excellent. Now I can go with the Iron Moth. Just Fiery Dance. And there, there's no... The, it, it's not faster. I have a plus one speed, you have a plus one speed. Uh, should I sub? No, I can I can always sub on the Walking Wake if, if he opts to switch in. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? Excuse me? Excuse me, what? Our earthquake, brother. What? That's not an attack. That is not a real move. Is it Earth Power of Venusaur? Perhaps. Perhaps. Am I faster? No, I'm slower. It wasn't a walking wake. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, I now know the tusk, like, it's revealed itself, and now it's actually, like, vulnerable to Sucker Punch, which is very funny. Um, I'm just gonna opt the Sludge Wave, get my damage, and die. For the Hydro Steam, the only unresisted move in the game. I know they Scarf, so I'm less worried about going into just, just simply going into Raging Bolt. And eating the the Hydro Steam hit. He has to be Scarf, otherwise there's no way he outspeeds. Okay, it goes for the Hydro Steam. It's fine. I, I bet he switches here. Bet he switches. He doesn't switch? Excuse me? No switch? No Nintendo? It wasn't a low kicks, but but I don't need to stay in. Um, actually, wait, if, if low kicks, like, kills me, I just go 
King can yeah, Brother, there there is a reason Low Kicks isn't a good mod. And this, my friend, is that reason. Okay, so if I Terra on a wait. Okay, so it's speed booster. So it's it's this much attack. Um if I Terra on this, I just live. I think it's a Kaltau. Goodbye. No, you're you're you are dead. <gasps> Alright, well I'm suckering this turn. Goodbye. I am vulnerable to Low Kicks's first impression, but it's it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go Rillaboom. Go into you and just sub up. I'm quad resistant to all of your attacks. They are all futile. Goes into Wenyasaur, but really, I don't think it's gonna matter. Um, I don't do much damage. Might wanna go hard into Ogrepaw. I don't die. Get the Ivy Cudgel, fire that off for free. Perhaps a a spike would have been. Oh! High crit ratio move. What are you dot dot dotting for? The damage would have been enough. 71 to um to a 84 would have put you in range of um, Shadow Ball, I believe. Okay, it goes into this. But I, I can just go King Gambit. And I don't I do not believe a focus blast would even kill. And if you go low kicks, I can get a calm mind up with um <laughs> He tried. He sure did try. <laughs> he sure did try, but but no. And he yup, he's banded. Leech life? Banded Leech Life. That sure is a, a, a low kick set. Well, there's a reason why there's um, a severe lack of bug types. Yeah, where... There's a reason... Wait, there is no bug type in OU. That's actually hilarious. Is Scizor still in UU? Scizor still in UU. My goat. Yeah, there's a reason why low kicks isn't in OU. And I never, never even like conceptualized that like... Iron Val just quad resist all of Low Kicks' attacks. Anyways, King Gambit once again revealing why it's the best Pokemon in the meta. Iron Valiant revealing why it's awesome. And Ogre Pond revealing why high crits are, are good. Okay, leads off a Samurott. Or, that doesn't lead off, but he has a Samurott team, so. Generally, the Samurott players like to lead off with Samurott. Um, what's the best course of action for me to take? Um... I think Ace Layer Spike is fine, um, so I'm not gonna like freak out over it. So I'm gonna lead off with Rillaboom. It gives me a good option to um, try and clean up with Iron Moth because Terra goes into a half, um, half boosted. Okay, he does Focus Ash. Um, maybe I'll opt to sub. But I don't know if he's Aqua Jet or not. I don't know. So. Gonna actually go into you. And is Cudgel okay? I think Whip is also fine. Okay, he is Sucker Punch. But I, I just didn't know, and I don't want to get smacked in the face with an Aqua Jet. That would have sucked. Alright, reveal your next threat. I I think he's gonna go into Iron Treads. Iron Treads are like actually all of these Pokemon are fair to go into. Um, maybe Zom, but Zom, like, early game Zom is really bad, especially to a team where, like, Terra Steel, I kill you with, well, never mind, I guess. It's just Power Whip, okay, goes for the Body Press. Actually, I was gonna go into you, sub up, and see what you want to do. See what your course of action is. Tears into the steel type. Goes for the heavy slam as his option. So I'm thinking Terra Ghost. 
Heavy Slam doesn't do that much into Iron Moth. It's gonna Shadow Ball. Get a little chip off. And then, as far as going moving further, I can go into my Raging Bolt and get a Calm Mind off. That's pretty free. Because Heavy Slam's only doing 33. Actually, I don't even need. Do I? I have a prop. I'd probably want to Terra initially. I can go into like Iron Moth. He's he's weak to my Fire type attacks now, but he doesn't even die initially. And that could be a Sash and Dark Cry, which I'm a little scared of. Actually, I don't know what I'm what I'm even thinking about. Iron Moth like resists both of his attacks. There is no fear. Has a roar. Oh, I forgot these shits run fucking roar, dude. No. It's fine. It's fine. I can still go into my Iron Moth. And I, I can Copium clean with Raging Bolt. King Clean with King Gambit. And as we all know, if there's a King Gambit on the field, it's never lost. It's never lost. Maybe that's... Actually, wait, I'll speed um, Iron Treads in base. It's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. 51! 51! Uh, can I go with the King Gambit? I can. Um, now who do I want to save to for Terra? Hmm. Am I faster? I am not faster. Wait, why is King Gambit so slow? Eat that up like I'm a sponge. I'm just sucker. That way I don't take any unnecessary chip. Um, if he goes into Iron Treads, I'm going to Terra. Does not. I'm just going to Raging Bolt. I'm going to Terra Dark and Sucker Punch. Oh, I, am I slower? I'm, fa I'm faster! Yes! I thought I was slower! <laughs> I thought I was slower! No! <gasps> King Gambit, you're so real! King Gambit, you're so real! No, don't lose. No. Yes! King Gambit! My favorite Pokemon ever. King Gambit! <laughs> Guy, what did I say? No matter what, if there's a King Gambit on the field, you can always win. <laughs> wow. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it off there. That was actually, like, hype as fuck. This team is, who would have thought if you, if, if the average base stat total of your team is like 600, you, you would be doing pretty well. Um, I love this team so much. I might actually put it in, into the description. It's, it's like a, it's like a kiss from Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ like rose from the grave, people were popping off. But when this team was released, people were throwing parties. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. It's, it's very fun. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.